Hi everybody, this is Zombie, and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. I'm back at Arcane Circle, one of Boss Island's legendary dungeons, this time with a different team to the one I did in my first video for this one. So, my first video was all about how to farm those superior runes nice and efficiently, so they were fast runs, very quick. But the heroes that you required to do that were quite powerful, and a lot of feedback I had from you guys in the community was that you needed to see something with some heroes that were more... Uh, down to earth I guess and easily accessible so that's what we're going to be demonstrating to you now then with this team that Drew from Level Cap came up with only earlier on tonight. I've used it a few times and it is really good and this is the team composition that we've got here. The star of the show I think in this time is going to be Valkin. When at the end we go through the runes you'll see that none of these heroes except for Kobold are particularly well runed. They've got some good stuff on them but they're not crazy good which means that you guys should be able to replicate what we're doing here. So let's get started. You'll recognize the uh, format that we're using here to a degree where we've got the two energy generators. So you've got Indigo um, and Echo that are there to get that energy to the likes of um, uh, Valkin in particular. So start off with Valkin, use his two war artillery ability just to get rid of those shields. If your Cobalt's powerful enough, then you can use Arcane Bolt to take these out, whether their shields are up or not, but the likelihood is, is that they won't be. However, because we are using Echo to boost everyone's critical, you might find that that's possible, but most of you guys will want to use Pandemic Swarm, otherwise though, Arcane Bolt to take these guys down in the first room. Speed things up. So, with Indigo next, we want to be using her area effect ability which is barrage chilling barrage so generate lots of energy take those shields off now the interesting part is here then so with valkin what we've got is um his main ability is changed by each one of these two whenever you use them so this first one um grants some extra i think it's some extra attack and critical that you can see there it also hastes the team as well when you actually finally use this one if you cast this one it then changes to war to this um, cavalry where I think a lot of wolves run across the screen and do some damage. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep this one up constantly. So it gives a boost. Let's take a look at what it gives. I think it's this one. So it gives a, a, a boost to attack and crit, um, which again is going to help your kobold take these runes down. So if you've not got massively crazy runes like I have on kobold, doesn't necessarily matter. You can use your contagion control, which should always be available because all the energy coming in through, and take those down quite easily. I mean, you can see some really crazy numbers that I just did then. You guys will be able to simulate something like this as well. So you pretty much continue that same sort of format where you want to use Chilling Barrage, generate the energy, and then with Valkin, constantly keeping that up, generate some energy with Echo, and then Cobalt finishes them. I mean, it's kind of a rinse and repeat. The bit where we need to pay attention a little bit more is going to be the boss in a minute, the mid boss, who on this level is actually the hardest one. The end boss, they're a bit rubbish. Poor old blue nub nub and uh, the blue Cobalt, they're not particularly impressive. Right, here we go, there's Miss Trouble. So first off then, we want to take the shields down. So we use Barrage. Then what we want to do now is use infantry, so two war infantry, because what that's going to do is a ton of damage on these uh, two defenders and also haste everyone. So sometimes I got lucky and I think I might have even one shot one of these and you'll see that my runes just aren't the best. Um, here then you can take your pick really. Um, what we're going to do is keep everyone's attack quite high because that's what we want to keep going. Use Echo there to zap them with electricity to take those shields down. You might find one or two, one of them has a shield up still. Do we have anyone? No, that's unfortunate. If you're lucky, you've got one person up, you've got one defender up with a shield, so in which case you can just take it off with an attack, but we don't have that in this case, so let's see how much damage we can do to her. Not too bad. Um, but because she's got elect because she's shocked, that keeps that shield off, so again, you then follow up with that and take them down. If these two aren't dead by then, with Cobol, because he's hasted, you've got a second attack to take, which is quite handy, so you can hit them with Doombolt. Uh, not Doombolt, that's Ponty. You can hit them with um, Arcane Bolts or Pandemic Swarm. 
So there you go, you can see how easily that was, how easily done that was, and you guys should be able to do something similar. At this point you don't have Chilling Barrage, so you want to get some crits generated with uh, Indigo's first ability, and then you do have it, because she's still got that hasted attack from previous. And with him, we want to select infantry again, and just keep everyone's attack bonuses up and crit bonuses up. This is now kind of rinse and repeat until uh, we get to the end boss. One good thing about this team is that you can afford to make mistakes. The potions that I'm bringing along here are two res and one energy. You can afford to make all sorts of silly mistakes on this and still recover from it. Um, on the, I tried to record this video a minute ago and I did something pretty stupid because I misclicked. Um, yet I was still able to get all the way to the end and complete it. I used up all of my potions. No, I used a, I used a res and an energy potion, but still I managed to make it all the way through. And if you're finding that your um, Cobalt isn't clearing that entire room, then you can start to try and figure out how your Valkin can help towards that. So using some of his abilities to help clear those rooms. But for me, I don't need that one, so I'm just keeping that attack high. But you might find that, as I say, because of that middle ability that he's using um, that boosts attack and crit, you might find that your Cobalt is actually becoming quite powerful and able to uh, clear these rooms for you. So, the end bosses. As I said earlier, these aren't particularly difficult. On my first video, I kind of overestimated both of them and I used Furnace to Energy Reset on that Num Nubs. It's really just not required. They are just quite, they're quite rubbish, both of them are. So, use uh, Indigo to knock out the shields and then we want to send those little dwarves in. And sometimes we get one shots on this one as well. We'll see, oh, there we go. Goodbye, uh, Blue Cobalt and he survived, but that's okay. And then we can use an ability, let's give him a bit of a bash there, look, and down he goes. Didn't even need to get to um, Echo and Cobalt. If you guys do um, need to use Echo and Cobalt, it's the same sort of routine with Echo, zap them with some electricity and then get Cobalt to finish the job. And there you go, nice and easy. So let's take a look at some runes really quickly and you will see that for a change I've got some heroes that aren't on videos that are massively runed up. So let me think, who did we just have? We've got a bunch of random heroes here. So um, first off we've got Indigo, um, some half decent, I mean look, it's quite poor really, it's not the best when you consider uh, the runes that are on my other heroes. Um, superior life to keep her up and alive. So my focus with um, Indigo, as you will have seen in the past, is that I don't want her to have massive stats in attack. I want her to keep up criticals all the time. That's her role. It's not to kill, it's to generate energy. So that's what we've got on her. There's nothing especially good there as you're seeing. A um, few decent ones. That I mean, that one's pretty decent, to be fair, but the rest of them, they're kind of moderate. Stats-wise, a really low attack, but a really high crit, and that's the order of the day for Indigo. Next, who have we got down here? It jumped all the way to the top again. Get that fixed boss fight. Come on, get that one fixed. I'm looking at my videos. Hiking Valkin, here we go. So you see, his runes are actually really quite poor in contrast to what I've got on, on my others. So, not even got attack on this one. Um, a destruction room with that PvP damage doesn't even help with what we just demonstrated here. Um, something that helps him stay alive, but again, spirit resist of no use during this uh, this run at all and we've got that one which is moderate I mean that one's okay but otherwise you can see that his stats you guys out there are going to be able to easily replicate this quite easily there's n I don't think you're going to find that too difficult gone to echo it kept me where I needed to be which was good come on echo load up I um, mean runes are really quite nasty to be honest I mean look at those that's dreadful that's really dreadful <laughs> not the best there either and greater life and improved life so that's all about just keeping him alive well, stats wise let's have a look really low stats there and then who else did we have of course Mr. Cobalt any excuse to show him off so you're not going to need this kind of 
crazy runes going on here. So for my Cobalt, though, it's extremely useful because he's got this one, damage versus casters on this. And then I managed to actually make this yesterday, so at great expense to all my mats and so on. Um, a pretty amazing rune by all accounts. That was originally meant for Kozar for the video I'm going to be releasing. Um, but I decided to put it on Cobalt for obvious reasons. But you don't need stats like this for this run. So I'm hoping that you found this useful, and if you do, then send me some messages either in our line chat groups that we're, that we're all in, or leave a message in the YouTube comments down below. I'll be very interested to hear what you have to say about it. That's all for now, guys. Please do leave comments, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll always try to answer. Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos, or search Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.